Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how you can integrate Zoom within your Moodle course. What this basically means is once you integrate the tool with your course, you'll be able to then schedule a Zoom meeting directly inside of whatever course you're having the Zoom meeting, and the students will be able to come into Moodle, find the link, and then access that meeting. So I'm going to show you how you can do that, and the first thing you want to do is turn your editing button on. You want to go into the section where you want to add the Zoom meeting. I'm going to just choose the general section because it's the first one that the students see. And I'm going to choose add an activity or resource. From here, you're going to choose external tool and it's going to take you to the add a new external tool page. So you're going to give it a name. So we gave ours a name and then under pre-configured tool, you're going to choose Zoom video conferencing. Once you're done, you're going to press save and return to course, and then you should see your Zoom course link tool integrated with your page. Now it's time for you to set the parameters for this meeting. So you're going to click inside where it says Zoom course link or whatever you named it, and then you're going to set up your meeting. Now you'll notice that this actually looks very similar to what you normally would do on Zoom in the past. So I'm going to actually delete all of these meetings so we can start from scratch. And the first thing you're going to do is click schedule a new meeting. And now you're going to enter the information for that meeting. So you're going to do the topic. So if you have the name of your course, you can put that in here. We're just going to name our Zoom test and you can put a description if you like here in the meeting description section. The date and the time is going to be next, so you're going to click on the little calendar here and you're going to choose a date. So let's say we want to schedule our first meeting starting next week. So we put the date in here and we're going to put the time as 9 a.m. You can set the duration here and the time zone is here as well. Now, if this is going to be a recurring meeting, you're going to choose recurring meeting and you're going to set those parameters here. So if this is a meeting that's going to occur every week, once a week, you can put all that information in here and put an end date, either a date that it's going to end or however many occurrences. So let's do that this is going to end after three occurrences. You can then go through the rest of the settings. And again, if you've used the web portal or even if you have used a desktop client, all of these settings are the same. If you want to disable the waiting room, you can uncheck that here. You are still required to have a password for every single session. And the rest of the settings are going to be set up as normal depending on what you would like them to be. When you're done, you're going to go ahead and press save and then your meeting will have been created. Now you can choose to copy this invitation if you wish. You can click copy meeting invitation and then paste that wherever you would like it. But your students are going to be able to come into the Moodle course and see the setup for it. So right now let's go back to the main page. Again, if we click on Zoom course link and let's say it is going, it, it's August 26th already, we're going to click on start and that's how we would start that meeting for our students. Now I'm going to log in as a student so that way you can see what they see. So now we've switched screens and we are logged in as a student. The student is going to come into the Moodle class, click on Zoom course link, and they'll be able to see all of the sessions that have been created for them. So when they're ready to join the August 26th meeting, all they have to do is click on join, and that will then start the meeting for them. Now, one more thing I want to talk about is recordings for your class. So I want to go back and if I click on Zoom course link, if I have my session and then I do record it to the cloud, I can find those recordings here under cloud recordings. And if I have one here, I can choose to publish it. By default, it is not going to be published. So you'll see it like this and you'll be able to check out this recording if you wanted to by clicking on it. And then if you decided to publish it for the students, you could go ahead and press this button and that will then publish that recording so your students could then watch it. So again, I'm going to log in as a student one more time just so you could see what they see. And here we are again, we're logged in as a student. I'm going to click on the Zoom course link and now I have made those cloud recordings public. If I click on cloud recordings as a student, I could then click on the topic itself and it would then show me the recording here to play it and it would open it up for me. 
if you notice when I did click on that, there was a little green box that showed up here that said the password was copied to the clipboard. So that means when they go here, all they have to do is paste that password in here and then click access recording and that will then take them inside of the recording where they can begin to watch it. So you can see that this is actually a really easy way to integrate Zoom into your Moodle course. It saves some of the work for you in terms of how you're going to notify your students of their classes, and it sort of lays everything out for them so they know what to join and when to join it.